Coach Corey Wayne, and this is my video coaching newsletter. And the topic of this newsletter is going to be Beware of the Shy and Structured Woman. I've got an email here from a guy. And when I say structured, this is basically a woman who she's insecure about herself or she's got a bunch of rules of how she's supposed to act, what's appropriate, what's not appropriate. And what it does is when you have a woman who's structured like this, it causes her to act in a way that is inauthentic and is incongruent with her feelings. It can be very fucking frustrating to go out with a woman like this because she'll say no when she really means yes. She'll turn her head when you go to kiss her when she really wants to kiss you. And it can be a real fucking pain in the ass to date a woman like this because if you want to have an effortless relationship, you got to date a woman who's not holding back, who's completely comfortable in her own skin. And if she wants to kiss you, she's going to kiss you. If she wants to touch you, she's going to touch you. But a structured woman is going to be hard to read her because she's going to give you a lot of mixed signals. And women like this are a fucking pain in the ass. Plus, there's a book that was written years ago called The Rules. And women that are following this will purposely cancel dates on you when they don't really want to cancel dates on you. They won't kiss you or they won't return your call in a timely manner. And they do these things on purpose. And it's just a real fucking pain in the ass to date women like this. He says, hey, Corey, cool videos, man. I checked out a few of them so far. I've read over your book on your website also. It's very interesting. I notice I do a lot of the things you talk about naturally. Well, every guy does a lot of the things or some of the things naturally, but it's the things that he's doing wrong that's causing him to get rejected by the women he likes. He says, I do have a question out, however, as to this pertains to girls that are really shy and inexperienced. I'm not used to this type of girl, so I'm having a really hard time reading her and believing what she says. Yeah, because she's not authentic and she's not acting congruent with her feelings and her words. He says, so the first date I met up with her and I was actually re ready to end it early because she was so quiet and nervous. Luckily, she followed me to my car and we went to another venue where she opened up enough for me to want to see her again. I just gave her a hug goodbye as I found that the first date it works better for me at least and when you hug a girl like that you're communicating friendship and I found that women that don't kiss you back are either not interested in you romantically or they're structured like this particular girl is and when you go for the hug it communicates a lack of confidence because the men who are direct I mean look at this way you can't penetrate a woman physically during sex if you have a limp dick and if you don't go for the kiss, it communicates that you're unsure of yourself or you're fearful that you may offend her, which is needy, nice guy behavior. And that, that kind of behavior will get you banished to friend zone. He says, the second date, we went out and had a great time. So I went to kiss her goodnight and she did not kiss me back. I stopped and backed off. She started apologizing, saying that she's really shy and she's never really dated much. So now she's giving you excuses and rationalizing. You see what I mean? It's like this girl likes you, possibly. But now she's not kissing you because she's shy or because she thinks it's not something she should do. He says, she came back in. We had a nice kiss at that point. He says, I set up plans for a third date with her to go to the lake. I naturally do what you say about setting up a date, kind of like fire and forget. In other words, you're making definite dates, which is excellent. Because when you make a definite date with a woman, that communicates confidence. Because women like guys who are direct and who get to the point. Leaving things up in the air, I'll call you later, or I'll call you to verify, that's feminine energy. And you basically, guys that do that are acting like women, and that's why women will flake on them when you do those kinds of things. She texted the day before and verified with me. In other words, she probably got a little unsure that you were going to keep the date because you didn't call to verify. And so that's a good sign. He says, so I picked her up from work, and she wanted me to see her classroom. She's a teacher. We went to the lake from there, and we didn't catch anything. We ended up sitting on an abandoned sandbar playing a game that she brought with her. We had a good time. On the way back, I asked her what she was like when she was a kid. She proceeded to tell me her entire dating history instead, which was pretty much non-existent. We got back to her car and played on the playground for a bit, and, and you got to let the kid out in you sometimes. Awesome. Love is playful and fun. It's not serious. He says, I go to kiss her goodbye and I got the cheek. I told her that at that point, maybe we should not see each other again. I really don't want to date someone that's not into me. And she replied, it's not that at all. I'm just really shy with people I don't know well. In the bottom line, she's giving you excuses at this point. And the other thing you got to keep in mind is you didn't go for the kiss on the first date. And so you're making little subtle mistakes there that you don't really think are that big a deal. 
but it makes a huge deal, especially with this chick who's shy. And you're, there's probably other little things that you were doing that communicated weakness that caused her. And she may just be, she's got rules because it, just because she turns her cheek doesn't mean that you can't seduce her. It just means that she's structured and she's not really that into you. And when a woman does that to me, I don't go out with her again because I want a chick that doesn't hold back. I just don't, I'm 42, man. And I've been, I've dated a lot, I mean, literally hundreds and hundreds of girls over the years. And I've been in a lot of relationships and I just don't have time to fuck around with bullshit like that. He says, I jokingly reacted out of hand for a handshake and she said, okay, we'll do this. And she got a bit fussy and said, don't be ridiculous. She knew I was joking and then I just went ahead and I kissed her then. And which she did kiss me back for quite a while. So then you made out. But you see all the work that you had to put into that? I, I just, me personally, I wouldn't want to, I wouldn't fuck with this girl. But if you want to keep messing around with her, it's totally up to you. A few things I've noticed about her. She seems to have trouble with prolonged eye contact. That communicates that she's insecure about herself and she's unsure of herself. And women like that, that even though they may really like you, they'll reject you, especially if they think you have more confidence in them because they figure once you get to know them, you're not going to want to date them anyways. And that's that's why dating women that have a low self-esteem, that are really shy or that are structured, I personally don't fucking waste my time with. He says she'll never make a first move. I mean, you're the one that has the penis, and you got to be the man in the relationship. She get and the only reason, the only time a woman will make a first move is when she feels really comfortable with you, and she has a lot of confidence. And it doesn't sound like this girl has either of those. She gets really embarrassed easily. Corey, I'm not sure how to go about this girl. Usually, if a girl acted like she does, I would say screw it. And that's what I would do. She's brought up many times how she's really shy and reserved, and I'm fine with that. Really. It's just something that's not in my playbook. I like a lot of things about her, but man, the shy part is hard to deal with. Exactly. Now, it's like when you've dated as many women as I've dated over the years, then you realize it's just there's too many great girls out there that don't have all these weird fucking hang-ups and you don't have to go out on three dates before you kiss her for the first time. It's just I wouldn't fucking do it. He says, do you have any advice or maybe a Jedi mind trick for these types of women? Well, I would say you need to clean up your game. First off, you need to be direct. You need to go for the kiss at the end of the first date because you want a girl who doesn't hold back women that don't hold back even though they might i've had plenty of women that i've gone for the kiss at the end of the first date and the, and later on a few days later or a few dates later they tell me i was really shocked when you kissed me i was like yeah well you had no fucking problem sticking your tongue in my mouth it's because they felt comfortable and at the end of the day you're the man and the man has to be the one that makes the move by being direct and going for what he wants so that's why I say clean up your game with her, go for the kiss. But me personally, I wouldn't waste my time with this girl. But if you want to go out with this girl again, go out with her, go for the kiss, get her alone somewhere where you guys can kiss and fool around. You can escalate it and eventually invite her over to your place so you can seduce her because she probably hasn't had very many sexual experiences either. And that also tells me that she's probably going to be totally suck in bed. But hey, it's your life. You can do whatever you want. Make sure you practice safe sex, by the way. So if you have a question you want to ask me or there's a topic you want me to cover in a future video newsletter, go to my website, click the Contact Me tab, which is going to be on the left-hand side of your screen. Send me one to two paragraphs max detailing your questions, your situation, your challenges. And you just got to give me several days to get back to you with a response because I get a lot of email from the Internet. And I also get a lot of it from my paying phone coaching customers. I've got to answer their emails first, obviously. So be patient and I will get back to you. If you want to talk to me right away, the quickest way to get my help is to book a paid phone coaching session. And you can do that by going to my website, click the Products tab, which is going to be at the top of your screen, and just follow the instructions. If you want to get a digital version of my Kindle ebook, on my website, underneath the email sign-up box, will be a box that will have a link to the Amazon Kindle download page for my book. Now, you don't have to have a Kindle device to read the Kindle version of my ebook. All you have to do is once you get to the download page for my Kindle ebook, on the right-hand side, there's a button that will open up a window where you can download the, the, one of their free e-reader apps. They have them for your Android smartphone, your Android tablet, your iPhone, your iPad, your Mac, or your PC. Only takes a matter of seconds to download and install the app, and after that, it only takes a few more seconds to complete the purchase of my book, and you'll be reading it in no time. And I will talk to you soon.